run. Please! He'll be mine. He is for the other. They only got two cards. Never mind, now they got a lot of cards. I don't know, it's, I guess it's possible that I need and or one hush. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Tarek. That's right, we got Twisted Fate and Tarek combining together. This looks like a very interesting list. And we got four very interesting deck lists again today. These are ones that I didn't put, uh, that I didn't build myself, that you know were viewer submitted donation decks or a deck from YouTube was one of them. So I put a YT here for uh, YouTube up there. Um, I think this is going to be like, so this is uh, recorded on Tuesday, July, what is this, the 13th? This is probably going to be up next week, honestly, uh, just for like how the, the videos go. Um, next week, I am, uh, I do need to take a few days off. I'm going to be uh, helping a friend move and, and stuff. So I'm not going to be streaming Sunday through Wednesday of next week. And um, so this is probably good. These videos are going to be going up one of those days. Um, but I think it's still, you know. So it's a little bit later, but uh, they're, you know, still just fine. Um, you know, they could, these cards aren't changing or anything like that. Anywho, uh, back to our deck. Uh, we're going to be playing Twisted Fate Tarek. And really with an emphasis on Slotbot. Okay, so that's that's what this is going to be. This is going to be a deck where we're, we're going to be trying to buff up Slotbot. Give Slotbot Overwhelm with Zenith Blade. Give it tough, you know, like with Tarek. And, and you know, use all like the support stuff and make Slotbot really big with Overwhelm and killing the opponent with Slotbot. That's going to be a pretty cool little win condition. We're going to have Zap Sprayfin, which can find Zenith Blade or just, you know, some of our other pump spells, such as Pocket Aces or Pale Cascade. Pale Cascade with uh, Tarek, remember, you get to draw two cards because you put the, the Pale Cascade on the Tarek to draw one, and then it supports it over, and you draw two. So drawing two, that helps level up our Twisted Fate. Um, and then we have some other ways to kind of draw some cards for Twisted Fate and also just kind of make sure we don't run out of cards. We have Pool Shark, The Flight, Fortune Croaker, all that kind of stuff. We have a little bit of interaction with Make It Rain. We have Mountain Goat and Mentor the Stones. They can get us some gems. Gems are always very important with Tarek. Plus, gems will be really good with Slotbot, um, getting it extra stats. And, you know, Mentor the Stones, giving the Slotbot plus two, plus two, also very nice. And then we also have a Sparkle Fly. Like, if we don't have Slotbot, this is our other you know, kind of win con that, you know, we can use Mentor, we can buff up Sparklefly and uh, have a big elusive. So there we go. That's going to be our deck. We're going to try some Twisted Tarek. Let's go play five games. We're just playing them in normal. We're treating this as another meme tier day, meme tier Tuesday. We just got some fun decks today. Just kind of uh, relax and not necessarily, you know, need to grind it out in ranked today. All right, Aroa says, I finally reached plat two today. Climbing is hard. It is difficult. Good job reaching plat two. Plat two is a nice plateau. We're playing against Sivir Zed, maybe the best deck in the format right now. Not necessarily <laughs> a great deck to see when you're playing your meme tier ones. Um, this is a decent hand. Now, is Make It Rain doing a whole lot in this matchup? I don't know, but you know, I like the Goat, Slotbot, Tarek. I, I don't know whether or not to keep Mega Rain. Um, it doesn't, yeah. I think I'll send it back, I think. I don't know. I I could definitely regret sending it back. That's, I do kind of want to, like, Pill Cascade's nice. I was gonna say, I do kind of want, like, a, you know, a good spell to um, use on Taric. Treasure Keeper is very good. So I kind of want to pass so that I can go Slotbot on three and then Tarek on four and then Pill Cascade. And, you know, like if I play Mountain Goat, I won't have the mana for Pill Cascade. Yeah, the, metal's, the meta is still not settled at all. So, like, there isn't, yeah, there isn't a lot of, like, top meta decks. Like, that was, that was the thing. Like, we went through that time, like, where it was, like, two months straight of, like, Everybody knew what, like, it was just a solid metagame. 
Um, that's not where we are right now. Wish I would have had the flight last round, because the flight I could have played and then still had my two mana available. But yeah, right right now it looks like just the um, the Fantastic Four. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Of uh, Treasure Seeker, Merciless Hunter, Sivir, Ruin Runner. That definitely looks like just the best thing to be doing. And then, you know, you can kind of fill in the blanks of whatever else you, you feel like playing besides those. <laughs> yeah, Fantastic Four. I don't know what, what you want, want to call it. Took it fair and, square. and I guess you could probably add... I guess you... I mean, you may have to add Shapestone into that also, right? So maybe it's Shapestone plus um, the 2 mana 3 one that gives Vulnerable. And if they have another shape stone, that'll be pretty rough. Take me for a spin. Ha, ha. Cause if they attack with both, they got two good blocks, they could use a shape stone to save one. But yeah, it definitely looks like they have shape stone how they're consider how they're even considering. But they'd have to trade shape stone plus one champion to kill one of my slot bots. Danger pays. Yeah, they got shapes down. That's too bad for Business me. As usual. Okay, yeah, and they're just gonna make just the one attack. Oh, that's unfortunate that they have a shape stone. Another one. Spin, spin, spin. You win. So much to play for. Disappoint me. Definitely considering going with the pocket aces on the slump font. Just do two damage, or do I get more blockers out? Maybe I just get more blockers out. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. It has to give them some kind of pause. Yourself to the shadows. You would think. Gotta go with the flow. These slot bots are pretty big. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. The slot bots are pretty big. Gems are really good with slot bot because you know it gets gives two stats, right? So you get to heal one and also you know so like it gives like the two stats that so like the gems are. That's a really good uh, combination. Yeah, and there's that shape stone. Why are you here? Let's open attack. Really hope they don't have the lifesteal barrier. And 
done. So this will put them down to four. Down to one. I go where the trouble is. It's never too far. Wish I had the mana for the um, for the Bastion right there, but we'll just take the the Mega Rain. Should be able to finish this out. Unless this only have no Papyrus deny. I've got a price. Oh my gosh, they had Deny. Oh, well, I guess we're probably dead then. Yeah, I guess that means that we're dead. We play in bilge rules, son. So, Alright, so we know they have one card's a Shape Stone. Yeah, we're probably dead. Well, that's too bad. We can fairly safely assume that they have, like, like, basically they have the double attack card, right? They have the double attack card and give multiple things double attack, we're really dead. We don't give everything double attack. But if they don't, we have a chance. Okay. Look at this place. We have a chance. Business as usual. So we know they have the plus three plus one card. Yes, <laughs> oh. Never mind, we don't have a chance anymore. I mean, if maybe they've been bluff bluffing the plus three plus one card the whole time. No, we're still dead. Yeah, they've had it. And the deny. We were so close. We got him to one. And if we ha if we would have had one more mana, I would have been able to Bastion, and you know we would have had lethal. But we were one mana away. From winning that. Yeah, that, that plus three plus one card just really, really hurt us in so many of those turns. If I, I, I blocked with the two one and then like two one elusive and then played the one two elusive. If I don't do that, if I keep the two one elusive, that would have been one extra point of damage. So that's how I could have won that game. So that, yeah, if I just don't make that block and then make that same attacks, so the two one would have been that one extra point of damage I needed. Okay, so this is going to be like a pretty uninteractive match. It's just like basically, do they have like they're they're a deck that like just tries to have all this reforged stuff with their champions and just like kill us out of nowhere. We're trying to make big slot bot with Tarek and kill him out of nowhere. It's gonna be, who has the cards, right? <laughs> That's all this this match is going to be. Not going to be very much fancy stuff going on. Correct, yes, you will get the Daybreak effect twice. Oh no, so therefore, that's just the only card that you don't want to draw. You, you know, I, I didn't want to draw the other Zenith Blade, because yes, if, if you Zenith Blade a Taric, you will get the, the Zenith Blade effect again. Okay, well, I guess they got it. We are getting destroyed by Nobify and Deny. GG's. Keep up. 
Let's we'll kill those things. I'm ready to but that's not very important. The Pill Cascade is a big time hit. Get to draw two in. But I don't think that we're winning the game. <laughs> I kind of need I kind of need that slot bot. Um, Your fate was written. They got all this mana and stuff. I'm not I'm not very confident right now. I think here comes Lee Sin, and then they're gonna do all the Lee Sin buffing and stuff. Ooh, a Glory Seeker. I can handle Glory Seeker. Ish. Okay, I feel better about it right now. And even if these two don't work, they really play too many Nopifies. Nopifies not even good right now. But, I mean, it's good against this Mega Rain, I guess. Yeah. Alright, still got back up there. That's a lot better than seeing either champion. You know, like, we haven't seen either champion from them, and I'm excited about that. Never mind. Okay. Each life a rare Back to Derek. That was a pretty risky calling strike. So they had, they had three other cards in hand. We know two of them, they have two of the Reforge tokens. Might as well get some extra attackers out there. Cool. Great twist of fate draw. That could be a stun if they allow us. Because they're going to like go all in and make this thing like all double attack and stuff. You know they have a whole bunch of blade fragments. We have two Hush in our deck. Hush would have been fantastic last game and this game also. Didn't draw them, but would have been fantastic. Perfect. Really just needed some now, hope they don't have deny. Deal me in. So I need a stun. That doesn't look like denied to me. Op operations done. Sure, you're all shiny and Worked out. But can you float? I could certainly try. All right, GGS. Yeah, no lease in. A late riven. And we we're able to handle it. Victory is a thing of beauty. Yeah, they had a good start. They just didn't have like their champion on curve. That would have, uh, you know, finished the game out. Kindred Sharima. Okay. I have. We talked about this yesterday. I, I wanted to build a Sharima Sivir Kindred deck with like all the vulnerable stuff that Sharima has these days, and put that with Kindred, with you know, like vulnerable with the quick attack. I think that's could be a really cool combination, and and I'm planning on doing that soon. Um. This could be that, just without the Sivir. I... I don't... I don't know. Maybe I should even keep the Sparkle Fly. <laughs> like, it wasn't necessarily a bad hand. That egg. Did it move? 
So we'll have Mega Rain, Mega Rain, Red Card. Doing some one damage to stuff. There's the Hush. I should be doing this during combat BT dubs because now they can still attack with the Spiderlings. I'm just taking one damage that I don't need to. Basically because I'm not patient. If I had patience, I would click pass and then they would attack and then I'd play it. Spin, spin, spin. You win. What's that noise? Slot pocket's real big, real fast, right? Like it, it says one four on the card. We just played it the next, and then the next round, it's just already a three four. I'm always up for a round or two. I don't think we really need to just red card those things. Those things are whatevs. Eyes open. Let's draw some cards. Help out the slot bot. Help out the twisted fate. Give me an extra mana so I can still make a rain. Yes. Don't have any support cards for the Taric right now. Oh, yeah, more in key time. Just send me... Just You can just put it here in chat, whatever changes you want. Okay, there, you put it in a whisper, okay. I'm gonna play this. No. No. No, don't, don't embrace life or expect death either. One, please. Don't, don't kill anything, at all. Um, not good or mentor. I guess mentor is smaller than twisted fate for getting marked. This is spray fin. I don't know how that's gonna work. Kinda wanna hush Kindred block with slot bot. Yeah. Keep trying. Man, they just reset my slot bot. That's not cool. What did we get? I guess I gotta play this just to level up the twisted fate immediately. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. Yeah, this slot bot, it looks really good now. Like, it's huge all the time. Yes, something cold. What is this? Kill an ally to kill an enemy? No, don't do that. I don't like that. <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Um... Hmm. So 
and get red card with this, but I think I'm just gonna hold on to it. Soak it in. Having gems with leveled up Twisted Fate does sound pretty nice. Oh man. Mark of the Isles. Get some more damage on my slot bot. I don't like it. Yeah, I probably could have hushed the spray fin to keep it alive, but I kind of would rather save the hush, I think. Back at the table. We're back at the table. We are nothing without each other. You are bound to me, and I to you. I guess I can't do exactly what I want to do. You know, I, I want to play three cards immediately right now and get the gold card, get red card and gold card and kill Kindred that way. But I can't do three cards immediately back to back to back. So, we can do two cards. I'm going to just play the flight, though. I could do, like, the, the two gems. Or, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Really? Because that's the thing. It's like, if I go gem, gem, I can't go gem, gem the flight. Because if I go gem, gem, then I then they put the destiny cards out there, and I don't think I can play the flight also. Or am I wrong? Could I, could I have done gem, gem the flight? Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I could have just done that. Oh, man. Anyway. Yeah, all right. I, yeah, I guess I wasn't sure how the gems put the destiny cards out there. I was thinking that I couldn't do those then the flight, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I could have. Where do you stand on cold shots? They only got two cards. Never mind, now they got a lot of cards. I don't know, it's, I guess it's possible that I need and or want Hush. Even though I said they only had two cards, both of those cards, their two cards both drew two more cards, so they're just multiplying. Really hope they never find Ruination. No, stop doing that! Stop killing stuff. They need not know yet. All right, am I hushing Kindred or Undying? I guess the Undying. Kindred just kills this one too. Oh, so the Undying doesn't come back. Yep, hey, I got the 
spirits. These are my rules. Wait, okay. So that didn't heal it, even though it says it's damaged? That's not cool. Guess we should do it over here, then. Okay. Um. Oh wait, they can't. Okay. Oh, I hear them. Okay, so. Uh, Alright, Kindred has eight health right now. They have seven health, so that's fifteen. This is gonna be like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can't kill them, but I would kill Kindred. I'm worried about if I go Zenith Blade, if I just start with Zenith Blade, that then they have a removal spell for, and then the Zenith Blade doesn't copy over. But I guess I'd still draw a Zenith Blade, don't I? Or no, maybe it would fizzle. Alright, got completely punished for not just attacking right away. Okay, that still draws the Zenith Blade, though. So not com I guess not completely. What is that? Whatever that is, I don't like it. I guess I, I should have just attacked right away. Because remember, attacking with the leveled up Taric means they can't take damage or die. I can put him down to one. Don't know if that's necessary though, but I can put him down to one. They don't have atrocity. Unyielding. It's kind of what it's all about right now, is just atrocity is the thing that saves them. If they have it, I lose. No, they don't. Okay. 
Man, that was a good game. Ooh. That was close. Kindred's awesome. Pick up the opponent showing out how good Kindred is. Alright, playing against LeBlanc. Probably Yetis, would be my guess. Alright, well, uh, we don't really need this in the opener. And I don't love Pocket Aces in the opener either. And so I'm just going to go ahead and send all those back, keep the GOAT. Kind of look for our champions, our powerful cards, our slot bots, that kind of stuff. Okay, we found all that. Now it's time to find the support spells. And look, yep, looks like it's a Yeti deck. Okay, yep, predictions are up. So we'll see if the opponent lives the dream of getting a free 5-5 on round 3. Which is difficult to do. That's something that you don't see very often. They did not live the dream. They got the two 1-mana yetis, but didn't have the 5-5. I'm going to just take the five. Could have gemmed Mountain Goat. Um, but I, I think I'm just going to take the five. and I want these slot bots in. I want them in right away. You know, the earlier slot bots are in, the better. As far as, like, having them grow. Say it can't be, but it sure can. Deal me in. Let's slow him down just a tad. Dead in their tracks. Obviously, hope there's no reckoning. Good Yeti hand. Good Yeti hand. A winner is you. Oh, man. They really did have a good Yeti hand. Well, this is really unfortunate. I have to trade away my slot bots, even though you're just a couple more rounds. Especially like just basically, if, if I don't have to trade them around, trade them this round. Like then we draw like these cards, and they get real big, and then they're you know. This is unfortunate. We're gonna have to trade them away here. You're bluffing. Keep trying. Gotta trust your instincts. It's unfortunate. Um, keep up, keep up. Oh, 
They drew two Yetis. And they really are having a great Yeti hand. Two mana right now will cost more mana afterwards. I'll just let this happen though. Don't worry. I am here. Alright, Cherik. A very good Yeti hand. You can see the Devastian border from here. Hmm. Maybe we should play this make a rain first and just see if we hit that thing. But then they get to draw another card. Draw a champion. I got the blank. to go. People to be. Yeah, now my Terex is a 5-5 and not tough. Okay. You're going to get hushed. You're going to get the Bell Cascade. Saucy with the raid. Yo, welcome everybody. Y'all are joining in at the right time. We got some fun decks up today. We're starting with Twisted Tarek, a Twisted Fate Tarek deck. After this, we got another Twisted Fate deck, a Twisted Fate Yasuo Misfortune deck. Oh, Saucy. Well, look at this cool dude. Thank you, Saucy. Um... I know all of you guys know, but just in case you don't, Saucy Mailman, of course, is the best Legends over in Terra streamer and YouTuber that y'all need to be following for sure. Ouch. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to buff up my Sparkle Fly that I have left. Is that a Fury of the North with the three sisters, which that's fine. We're just gonna need to find enough pump for this Sparkle Fly. We can do. We can do it. All right. Got to hope that they don't have. Ugh, Make it rain doesn't help. I guess I should. No, we'll do this. So we're gonna. I guess we have two elusives. So we should probably spread the wealth. So like this zenith blade, I'll put on the other spray fin. So in case of Frostbite spell, spread the wealth. No reason not to do this first. Again, we may draw an Elusive. Okay, or another Zenith Blade, you know, anything like that. Alright, well, let's do it. There we go. Awesome. Got there with the Elusives. And we're 3-1. and one. Sometimes you gotta kill Tarek over having lethal. It's all good. Vladimir Brom. Vladimir Brom's always really difficult to defeat. When you're just trying to attack, right? Like they they're good at combat, that's for sure. Especially Brom. So what are we doing here? Obviously we're keeping Tarek. I don't mind the hush, but I also don't love hush. 
We're gonna send it back. I, I think like Hush is gonna be like, it'd be a good card to have in a lot of games, but I don't think I really want it in my opener whenever we're trying to like curve out and get ahead and stuff like that with a Taric deck. I don't really want, especially with not having, like if I had like two or three other cards I was keeping that I was really happy about, then we could you know, afford to keep the Hush. But without that, um, I'll just go ahead and play you. Leave nothing standing. Slotbot. Okay, Slotbot, good. No, not Scar Grounds. Not Scar Grounds, not that. What did we get? Yeah, that's fine, Anthony. That's fine. Each life a rare jewel. We feast tonight, Varg. Hmm. The treasure was in me the whole time. Shatter that. All right, let's spread the wealth, buff up a bunch of stuff. Especially against these kind of like frostbite decks. Wow. Is on the job. We play in build rules, so. All right, so we drew an extra two cards. Spin, spin, spin. You win. Cool. Worked out pretty well. My shield is my sword. Show me your best. Most likely going to be a hush for me because, you know, I could see them using some buff on that Braum. This is fun, yes? Oh, sure. You can just. You just want to challenge that? That's fine. They get the 3 3. All right. Never lost a fair game. Never played one. Blue as the serpent. Get more card draw. It's good for both Slotbot and and uh, Twist of Fate. So we're at four out of seven. So it counts two targets, just one target. Lame. I really need Twist of Fate. Er, Alright, so if I just attack... I really need Tarek to level up first. Like, if I just attack... And if I support Tarek... Like, support... Or, like... Okay, so I Pill Cascade the Tarek, that's six. And then it... Supports in that seven and it has a cast over there. I don't think they are the whole can't take damage or die as far as I know I don't think they're just I can't take damage or die If I just cast this pill cascade here Come on, give it a try. I don't know though Now, if they're not, can't take damage or die. Needed one more target. There is nowhere left to go but up. Tear them apart.
I don't like the scar grounds whenever I'm I'm sitting here holding. Okay, that just that just they're doing that to buff up that card. So that kills my Tarek. Yeah, I'm holding Mega Rain and everything. I don't love the scar grounds. Mega Reigns are kind of useless. The Winter's Claw will purge the weak. I'm always up for a round or two. I don't want to have them to have the free challenge on my Sparklefly. No. Yeah, that's pretty good. Braum just dominates. Just can't do anything. Smell that bark, fear. Just can't do anything. I like that they're using this right now. Like this is, in my opinion, this is a complete waste, in my opinion, for them. Like, Death Lotus is so incredibly valuable on all of these things with the Scar Grounds. That, that was just a really bad use of a Death Lotus. To be honest. Now, I think I still Bastion, because what else is that doing? But I think that's a... I think that's a really poor use of a Death Lotus of a card that could be incredibly good. We got some big slot bots. 713, 511. Yeah, I am very happy about this, that it's not... Um, you know, like a, like a, a big attack in a Death Lotus. I think I actually just do this over here. Even with the Braum. <laughs> the zero twenty two slot bot. <laughs> Could have been a thing. All right, GG slot bot. All right, good winning record there for Twisted Tarek. We'll take that all of the time. Slot bot really did look good. You know, this was that's what this deck was built around. Zenith Blade, the slot bot, make that really big. Um, but just frequently, like you know, we play slot bot on round three. Then it's it's immediately a two four. The next round now it's immediately a three four, right? Like so, even just like playing this, it like started out as a you know like people look at it and say, oh, it's a one four. It's not very big, but like immediately whenever we would play it and then go to the next round, it's just a three four, and then it and then it starts from there. So it's really big for a three drop just in general, and then it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so yeah, I think this could be a, a really underrated card still. Like with that with that new ability of like with the summon that Slotbot looked very good and then you know we had our, our two champions were awesome right Tarek and twisted fate they both did a lot of good stuff especially Tarek with zenith blade with a slot bot that was pretty nice yeah, and twisted fate we had some timely gold cards and uh you know blue cards all that kind of stuff so it looked pretty good 
There we go. All right, that's Twisted Tarek. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments and you know let me know what you think of this list or you know anything else. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it and if you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes for you. All right, but that's going to be it here for Twisted Tarek. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.